What's up, brothers and sisters? Man, man, man. Just trying to remove the vain imaginations that people have about God. Now, we're going to deal with two scriptures where it talk about God playing with us. Now, we know God is spirit. And for those who don't know, it's written in John chapter 4. That God is spirit. God is not flesh and blood. So how is the spirit of God going to plead with us face to face? Now, we read examples in the Bible where the spirit came upon people. The prophets was also moved by the spirit. So the spirit is just like the wind. It's invisible, but it moves physical things. So if this spirit is going to plead with us face to face, what does that look like? Now I'm always referencing the word became flesh. Now when people reference the word became flesh, they only go to Jesus. What about Moses? Moses was the word made flesh. Because the people in Egypt, they couldn't connect to the spirit. They couldn't just read a book. Moses was the word made flesh, so Moses delivered the word. Noah. The people weren't reading books in Noah time, so what was Noah? The word made flesh. So let's go to these verses where it talk about how God is going to plead with us. Now, first verse I'm going to get is in Isaiah. So turn your books to Isaiah and come follow me. Isaiah 66. So we're in Isaiah 66, y'all. Let's read. It says, For the Lord... For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with chariots and a world like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So I hope people don't think this is a spitting dragon because it says God's word is like fire. It also says the one to come going to baptize you with fire. So this rebuke is with the hot information. I'm talking about that the information that get people heated. Because it's rebuking them. But verse 16 is what I want us to pay attention to. It says, for by fire and by his sword. Well, if you read Revelation chapter 2, it tells you Christ going to come fight with the sword that's in his mouth. Not the sword that's in his hand because God don't war with flesh and blood. So it says, verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Now, there go that plea. Now, why would God be pleading with us? <clears throat> Because God's spirit would be in a son of man that's among the people. And he would be crying out to them. Come back to God. Come back to God. Which is the plea. Come back. Come back. But many people are going to do what? As in the days of Noah. So will it be what? In the days of the son of man who is speaking fire. So he's going to plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Now why are many people going to get slain? Because many people are not going to accept the fire. Now, the fire is the purification, a.k.a. baptism. The fire information to purify you. Now, if you don't want to accept the fire, then what comes next? The sword to cut you off from what? The covenant of God. As it says, many will be left behind. Now, that's one verse. Let's go to the next verse. It'll be in the book of Ezekiel. Come walk with me. Now, this next verse in Ezekiel, chapter 20, mm -hmm. verse 34, it says, and I will bring you out from the people and I will gather you out of the countries where ye have scattered. Because a lot of time when I read these verses, a lot of people try to say this is talking about back then. But we know we are the scattered people of the scriptures. That's why I started at verse 34. Well, this is the time where God is going to gather us from all the places that we have been scattered. It says with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm. And with fury poured out. It says, and I will bring you into the wilderness of the people. And there would I plead with you face to face. Here goes that son of man that's in the earth, which the spirit of God has come upon. And he is crying out to the people, pleading with the people. Come back, come back. So when we talk about God, the return of God, right? A lot of people have put this story in a hocus pocus way, but this is not hocus pocus about somebody playing with you on behalf of God because the son don't come in his own name. The son come in the father's name. Now, the father is not going to plead for you. It will be the son playing to the people on behalf of the father to come back. This is not hocus pocus. So, y'all, as I was saying, you know, this hocus pocus um Return of God stuff, it just needs to stop, y'all. And and just show us how everything is happening. And don't keep sinning until grace abounds because the grace period 
is the plea. The grace, the grace period is the is the is the son of man playing to the people, telling them to come back. Now, this is not gonna last forever. So this is that grace period that's going on, but stop listening to these devils, as I told you, who the devil is in disguise as a messenger. So he's teaching, they are teaching the scriptures, acting like a messenger when the same scriptures that they are teaching, they have to be fulfilled and not taught because the teachings of the people who read the book have nothing to do with what God is going to actually do at the time of the fulfillment. So a teaching of the scriptures don't matter. It's about the fulfillment of the scriptures that matters. And this is how the devil is in the sky. So as always, I hope the Father has circumcised. Y'all horse and nails for the message.